What's up guys, Matt from the Football Boots team and today I am here with Colin Van Gaal, a professional footballer and he has got some sublime technique and on his feet today he is wearing the brand new Puma ones, the newest silo from Puma, the German brand, so let's test them out in a full review. So guys, here it is, the brand new one by Puma. But is it better than the Evo Speed, Evo Power and Evo Touch? Let's find exactly what Puma's newest boot has to offer. So guys, if you were to ask me what the number one selling point was of the all new Puma 1, it is straight up an easy one for me. It's hands down that K-leather upper, which we see on the toe box, but also around the lateral side panel and the medial side panel as well. And trust me, in terms of feeling soft, premium and plush, these are extremely high quality, very similar to the Evo Touch, but slightly thicker. So let's bring the boots in a little bit closer to focus on that K-leather upper. And as you can see, when I run my thumb across the top of it, we can see that ripping effect. Now that is exactly what you want to see from a K-leather football boot because it's the sign of quality. So if you are a leather enthusiast like Tommy and the Black and Orange team, then these are gonna be a great option for your next pair of boots, especially if you like the cross between traditional meets modern. So we've mentioned the K-Leather Upper and it is a massive positive about the Puma 1. But don't get me wrong, there are some slight negatives about this boot as well. The first being where the K-Leather stops and then becomes a synthetic. That synthetic material is actually quite cheap. It's very thin, which can be a good thing. But in terms of being a high quality synthetic, this almost feels a little bit scaled down, which is a slight disappointment. Another negative for me has to be the sole plate material. Now I think it looks quite good and also that sparkling effect is a nice touch, but in terms of the actual material, I think it feels a little bit too stiff overall. In the heel and the midfoot, that's definitely a good thing for responsiveness, but at the toe box, you want it to be a little bit more flexible for underfoot maneuverability. And that's just not the case with the Puma 1. So guys, although these Puma ones are too small for me, and that's why we got Colin to test them out for us, I had to try and squeeze into them because in hand they felt so unbelievably soft and premium because that K-leather upper is seriously top level. But I did manage to squeeze into them, although they are a whole size too small. And trust me, right out of the box, they are so ultra soft and comfortable. It is amazing. So in terms of breaking time, there's hardly any whatsoever. So one factor that Colin mentioned was that the Evo knit collar fit very snug across the top of your foot. And I have to agree with him in a very good way as well. In terms of being snug and compressive, the Evo knit collar does offer that. So in terms of being comfortable, it definitely helps and it also provides a sock-like fit. Here we go. 
Now, something that reminds me so much of those Puma King 2s that were released are those exposed lacing hoops. We see two on the lateral side of the boot and then one on the medial side of the boot. They don't really do anything in terms of customizing fit, like on the Hypervenom 3, which you can actually pull those a little bit tighter. They don't actually move, but as you can see, we've got some exposed ones in between those ones that go through the upper itself. So with any brand new silo release, a massive talking point is the stud configuration. Now on the Puma one, we've got a bit of a combination going on between conical studs and bladed studs. Now at the heel, we've got four bladed studs and at the midfoot, four conical studs and then two more breaking bladed studs. At the front, two more bladed and it definitely looks a little bit unique, but because it's not overly aggressive, I think you could use it on both 3G and firm ground surfaces. We, we go, we go. So let's just have a little comparison between these two boots, the brand new Puma One and the Evo Touch Pro. As you can see, K-Leather Upper with an Evo Knit Collar. Puma One, exactly the same. K-Leather Upper and an Evo Knit Collar. Do you reckon this is a good upgrade from Puma or have they pretty much just released exactly the same boot with a little modification? So because Marco Verratti has moved on from Puma to join another brand, that means that Antoine Griezmann is going to be the headline player for the Puma One, which means goodbye to the Evo Speed and hello to Puma's brand new silo. So for me, I think the all new Puma One is a little bit of a crossbreed between the Evo Touch and the Evo Speed. It's got the leather of the Evo Touch, but it's very lightweight like the Evo Speed. Would you like these ones? Yeah, you don't need the white rose now you can take it. Oh, Puma. Oh, Puma. Oh, Puma have got like the high top on them now. Oh my god. That looks nice. That looks nice. And they've got oh, leather. It's leather. 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 Leather is so nice. Yeah, so leather at the top. Leather is real good. It's really soft. Puma one. It's like so soft. I know. Because yeah. yeah. they're yeah. yeah. nice. Yeah. This, like, this part here is more flexible than the edit of this one. Yeah, it's quite yeah, movable yeah, around yeah. here, right? Mm. Okay guys, we're going to show you something else. You can help us make some decisions about these boots. We yeah. made a boot wall which has got like what we think are like boots you should definitely get to boots that you probably shouldn't get. Okay. So you guys can have a look at it, see what you think. And um, we'll add some more to the list. These new Ooh, leather ones you saw, what do you think about those? What about these? Real nice and high. Are we going in that pocket or that pocket? We're going about there, are we? So about the same as that High Venom 3 low? Yeah. About there? Yeah. Let's put them there. You guys, you like the Pumas a lot, right? Yeah. So the Puma 1 gets a real smash review from you guys. So guys, there it is. Puma's brand new boot, the 1. Colin, what do you reckon? No, I really like the boots. They were very comfortable straight away. So I think it's a real good new boot from Puma. Good new boot from Puma. Colin gives them a thumbs up, but guys, what do you reckon? Let us know in the comment section below. But that's today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers.